The tech world is already buzzing with anticipation, as Apple prepares to unleash its next major flagship lineup in 2025, the highly awaited iPhone 17 series. As we move further into the second half of the year, fresh leaks and industry insider tips are beginning to paint a clearer picture of what could be Apple's most advanced iPhone generation to date, particularly in the display department for years. Apple has set the gold standard in premium smartphone design, and if the latest reports are accurate, the iPhone 17 lineup could mark a significant evolution in that legacy. We're talking about dramatically thinner bezels, a refined dynamic island 120Hz promotion across all models, and even LTPO old panels becoming standard across the board. These changes won't just be cosmetic, they could fundamentally change how we interact with our iPhones on a daily basis. In this in depth video, we're diving deep into every display related upgrade coming to the iPhone 17, including the iPhone 17 iPhone 17 Plus, iPhone 17 Pro, and the rumored iPhone 17 Ultra or Air model. So, whether you're a longtime Apple fan, a competitive Android user curious about what's next, or someone just looking to upgrade in 2025, you'll want to stay. Tune through the entire breakdown. Let's explore every leak detail, potential improvement, and design shift that's shaping the future of Apple smartphones.1. Major redesign with ultra-thin bezels across all iPhone 17 models and of the standout rumors surrounding the iPhone, 17 lineup revolves around a significant reduction in bezel thickness. According to reliable sources, Apple is reportedly developing uniform ultra-slim bezels for all for iPhone 17 models, not just the Pro variants. This marks a notable departure from Apple's strategy with the iPhone 15 and iPhone 16 lineups, where premium features like ultra-thin bezels were largely exclusive to the Pro and Pro Max models. This year, even the base iPhone 17 and the much discussed iPhone 17 Air and new thinner model possibly replacing the Mini or Plus are expected to benefit from this sleek design enhancement. These slimmer bezels will contribute to a more immersive edge-to-edge -edge viewing experience, making the phones appear more modern and futuristic. It also allows Apple to fit larger displays in relatively compact frames, something users have been asking for. Thinner bezels also mean reduced distractions during video playback gaming and multitasking. Apple may use new border reduction structure, BRS technology, or adopt similar techniques used in the Apple Watch to achieve this elegant form. Combined with the possible use of laminated glass and enhanced display protection, the thinner bezels will not compromise durability a key aspect. For daily users, dot to every iPhone. 17 model may finally get 120Hz promotion refresh rate and other monumental change in Apple's 2025 iPhone lineup could be the inclusion of 120Hz promotion displays across all models, including the base iPhone 17 and 17 Air. This feature, which has remained a Pro-only offering since its debut on the iPhone 13 Pro, could finally become the new standard. Why does this matter? A higher refresh rate drastically improves overall fluidity. Whether you're scrolling through social media, playing fast-paced games, or switching between apps, the difference between 60Hz and 120Hz is immediately noticeable. Promotion also allows dynamic refresh rate adjustment, helping to optimize battery life without sacrificing smoothness. For Apple to bring this feature to the entire iPhone 17 lineup, it would likely need to use LTPO old technology, which supports variable refresh rates. Fortunately, leaks suggest that every iPhone 17 model will feature LTPO panels, paving the way for always-on display support as well another pro feature that may now trickle down to standard models.3 a redesigned Dynamic Island was software-driven. Intelligence love it or hate it. The Dynamic Island is here to stay but with some notable enhancements. First introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro, this interactive cutout has redefined how users engage with notifications, background activities, and live updates. Now, a redesigned version of the Dynamic Island is expected across the entire iPhone 17 lineup, and this time, it may bring software-level refinements rather than just a physical reconfiguration. A trusted industry source hinted that Apple might reduce the size of the dynamic island, especially on the iPhone 17 Pro Max or Ultra model, as part of its long-term strategy to eventually place Face ID under the display. While that full transition might not happen until the iPhone 18 or 19, the intermediate step could be a smaller, more efficient dynamic island that takes up less screen real estate, while offering the same or even greater interactivity. Additionally, Improvements to the iOS 19 interface may further enhance how Dynamic Island handles live activities, real-time app status, calls, navigation, and smart home notifications. Apple could also integrate AI-based contextual actions, 
using Apple intelligence to intelligently surface information and automate responses based on user behavior. Point four. All new display sizes and aspect ratios iPhone 17 Air to get 6.3-inch binoculars. Also talk that Apple may slightly adjust screen sizes and aspect ratios across its 2025 iPhones, including a potential 6.3-inch display for the iPhone 17 Air a thinner, lighter device that's been rumored to replace the Plus model. This could provide a better one-handed experience while still offering a large enough screen for content consumption. What's more intriguing? is that Apple may redesign the aspect ratio to be taller and narrower, improving ergonomics without making the phone feel bulky. These subtle shifts would reflect the company's goal of creating a unified visual identity across all iPhones, while still giving users size and design diversity to choose from 0.5. Elpo old panels across the entire iPhone 17 Lini Punnel now. LTPO low-temperature polycrystalline oxide old panels have been exclusive to the iPhone Pro series, but according to multiple sources, Apple will extend LTPO tech across the full iPhone 17 lineup. This change unlocks multiple advantages, support for variable refresh rates from 1Hz to 120Hz, power-efficient always-on displays enhanced brightness, and contrast ratios longer battery life through display-level optimizations for consumers. This means a richer visual experience, better power efficiency, and smoother animations, regardless of which iPhone 17 model they choose. Apple may also pair LTPO with its own microlens array MLA technology, which helps increase brightness without additional power drain, further improving outdoor visibility and performance in sunlight. Six, Face ID moving under the display. A glimpse into the future will thou this may not fully arrive with the iPhone 17 lineup. Several insiders suggest that Face ID under display technology could partially debut in 2025. Specifically, Apple might introduce a hybrid version where some Sensors remain visible while others are embedded beneath the display. This is believed to be an intermediate phase before Apple launches a completely notch-free iPhone, a goal the company has been working towards for years. If Face ID sensors can be successfully hidden, we could see a fully immersive display on future Pro and Ultra models, and the iPhone 17 could be the first to hint at this transition, with smaller visible camera cutouts and a more compact dynamic. Island 7 Display-driven software features powered by iOS 19 and Apple Intelligence with all these hardware. Changes in the pipeline. Apple will likely match them with new software features in iOS 19, expect smarter widgets, interactive lock screens, and AI-powered automation to become central parts of the iPhone experience. New display technologies also open the door for Apple to expand features like advanced sleep tracking overlays, glanceable productivity info, Via Smart Stack Custom Always On Display the mess increase multitasking features. On larger screens Apple Intelligence, Apple's new suite of AI tools may be deeply integrated with these display elements, making the experience more dynamic and personalized. Tate. Launch Timeline When will iPhone 17 be released? As with most major iPhone releases, Apple is expected to unveil the iPhone 17 series in September 2025, likely during the first or second week of the month. Historically, Apple holds its annual fall keynote on a Tuesday, so we can expect an announcement on September 9th or 10th, with pre-orders beginning that Friday, and official release one week later, possibly on September 19th. By that time, production will be in full swing, and we'll likely have even more concrete information about final specs and model names. Apple could also surprise us with new naming conventions, especially if the Air or Ultra branding gets applied to iPhones for the first time. 9. Final Thoughts should you wait for the iPhone 17 if you're someone who's been holding onto an older iPhone model or even considering switching from Android to iPhone 17? Might just be the turning point. With sleek new bezels, uniform 120Hz displays, redesigned dynamic island, and smarter screen tech, this lineup offers something fresh for every kind of user. Whether you're a creative, a business user, or just someone who wants the best display in their pocket, the iPhone 17 is shaping up to be a true display revolution in the world of smartphones. And if the rumors are true, it's not just a pro-only party this time every user gets to enjoy the premium screen experience. Apple is known for.